Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 2, Lesson 15, Part, Part, Whole Ratios. The objective says, I can solve problems when I know a ratio and a total amount. At the kennel, the ratio of cats to dogs is 4 to 5. That means for every 4 cats, there are 5 dogs. There are 27 animals in all. So this diagram that we have showing 4 to 5 represents 9 out of the 27 total animals. So this is just one group of animals at the shelter. Here's a tape diagram representing this ratio. So I see 4 rectangles representing the cats and 5 rectangles representing the dogs. What is the value of each small rectangle? Again, there are 9 rectangles total and those 9 rectangles represent all the animals at the shelter. So there are 27 animals at the shelter. So I can think to myself, well, we must have reduced this ratio and grouped them in smaller groups. So 9 times what gives me 27? The ratio has been reduced three times. So each one of those rectangles represents three animals. So this is like looking at three groups of four cats and five dogs. Uh, this is one of the three groups that we're looking at. So each of those rectangles represents three animals and not just one. Letter B, how many dogs are at the kennel? Well, I have five rectangles that represent five groups of three dogs. So five parts represent dogs with three in each part, so there are 15 dogs total at the shelter. How many cats are at the kennel? Well, I've got four groups of three, so there's 12 cats total. And I can check my work now that I have a total number of dogs and a total number of cats. 15 plus 12 gives me 27, which is what I expected because there are 27 animals in all at the shelter. So I was able to use a part-part-whole ratio, looking at not just the number of cats and dogs, but the total number that are also at the shelter to help me figure out how many cats and how many dogs are actually there and not just represented. The objective says I can solve problems when I know a ratio and a total amount. Thanks for watching.